And I'll start with the Tully 2600 home run baseball for for their system. So today we're going to look at what the game was, what it was supposed to offer, and what it failed. Let's take a look at the game catalog that promoted this game all the way back in 1978. Okay, let's take a look in the catalog itself what it says about this game. This is uh, summarize Thump your bat uh, resolutely on the home plate. Give the pitcher your steelers stare. Now wait for the pitch. Bring the crowd to his feet with a deep drive in center field. And throw over your cap as you score the winning one. Mix your pitches. Keep the batter off balance. But be careful. Balls and strikes count. So do double plays. Triple plays and force outs, tag outs, and sacrifice fries. Wow. With everything that says on this page, it looks like you're going to play a sweet game of baseball, doesn't it? The people at Tully called upon the great Pete Rose of baseball to promote this game in a small commercial. Okay, Atari, let's see your best pitch. Let's take a closer look of the home run cartridge game box that came in. Let's take a look at what the game was shown to be on the outside of the box to what true reality was when you play the game. At the game box for home run, you're, in the, you're, so, you're shown a baseball uh, stadium all filled with people crapping their hands on the lower right hand corner. To the left of that, you have someone running to catch the ball. Uh, above that, you have a pitcher. You have three, two, and then you have someone running into home base before the uh, before the person can tag them out. And then up above that, you have a big baseball. And then right by that, you have someone hitting it with a bat. Now, getting this game, you would think you've hit the jackpot. You can finally gain play, play a game of baseball. You turn it around as those one and two players. Doesn't show the actual gameplay. So you go home and you turn it on and this is what you get. Now to begin with, when you play a simple game of baseball, you have the batter, which this game has. You have first base, second base, third base. Okay, this game has all that. But, what this game does not have is actual pitcher's mount. The second baseman throws the ball. And this game is weirder than anything that you've ever really played before for a game of baseball. So it starts out that you're the pisser on second base. And you can toss the ball. There, one right there. Oh! Got there. Beat me, that little son of a gun. So let's try this another way. Let's see. Ah, okay, I got you out. Okay. Oh! <coughs> Excuse me now, isn't this interesting here? That in this game, again, you have first base, uh, no first base men. You have second base, where the pitcher's at, and you have a guy there. You have third base, and there's no one there. So this game, I mean, I, I know it was made in the 70s, but come on! There has to be more, something more than this. Where's the damn pitcher's mound? Where's the out basement? Where's the, um... I mean, th this whole game is just backwards. Let's have some gameplay. A 
Hey! And what's worse, if you go into later levels with this game, along with the pisser, you have someone who appears to be for uh, first base, and then someone for second, uh, third base. And then when you hit the ball, I mean, watch this here, when you hit it, uh, those two people disappear and you're left alone. And this game is totally, um, uh, uh, weird. It's not a good game again. This isn't baseball. This isn't baseball that you used to play in, uh, as a kid at park with your friends. Oh, in high school or elementary school, this isn't baseball at all. This is some kind of, uh, mutant, uh, something from Hades. It's hell. This isn't baseball at all. And this put a really bad, bad mark on the Atari Sports tiles. I, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I know this is, this is the 70s that we're talking about, but come on. It, it, this could have been a little bit better made. Come on.